Yeah, yeah, fuck off. Get your vomit and don't come back. Does he come back up? No? Okay. So, welcome to a few hours later. Barely. Just got this helmet. Pretty cool. Oh, was that him? No, uh, I'm going nuts. Flamburst of plus two, that's all I've done. So, you know, that's pretty rad. I think it, let's go to Crystal Sage and call it quits. Yeah. I wanted to be a little stronger before, before I had to deal with his vacuum grab. Thank you, Mimic Kun. Kinda weird that's the only way to get the standard battle axe. Pretty weird. Alright, let's see. Cool. Well, we're only plus two at this point. I can now get to plus four, but ah, we'll wait a bit. Now, the funny thing is, a raw flam burst is only two points stronger, so we're gonna get that sweet, sweet 15 strength and then see if heavy's just better. I think that's how it works out. I think it, at 15 strength, two handing is better. It gives equal or better damage. Oh well, whatever. Yeah, that was the case on my holo build. Heavy flamberge was best forever, it was kind of annoying. Let's go do this real quick. Oh, also while I'm at it, Pyroflame on this hand. Heavens, she was already dead. Heavens. Well, we'll come back to Grey Rat soon. Just gotta remember to pop on my fireball. Right. Let's go level up and then we'll see if we can... I oh, no, we'll leave this as such, but let's just see the damage. Just go do some quick mathematics. Alright. Because what are we now? 14. Oh, we're stronger, are we? Two-handed, at least. Yep, we're stronger. We'll need one more point before we can see, though. Right. Um, nothing else to worry about. Got this bad boy. Let's equip our fireball. You can get to it. Alright, so. Now that's sorted. Let's go here. We're gonna go underneath, take care of the grave. Yeah, let's see, let's um let's work this out. Go through the sewers, take out the rats, get the um get the ring. Um heal at the bonfire, get the get the lizard obviously. Go through the graves, save arena, meet Egon, kill all those guys, cheese the boreal knight, or maybe man man fight him. I don't fucking know. Yeah, we'll try to fight the boreal knight properly. I'll give him a shot for once. And then Rota sacrifices. Probably Hazel and maybe a human invader. Um, we'll summon Hodrix for fun. Grab what we can and head to the Sage. Ideally, with Grey Rat, ready to head out to Pillage. Seems seem like good plan to me. That's the gist of it at least. Alright. And hopefully at some point we'll have enough to buy some cool armor. Oh, I should have got hit there. That was very generous of the game. Aha. No, you don't. Oh, yeah, so this just one shots. Very cool. Alright. Now, I didn't explain, but I might as well um, while I'm at it. Rubbish. Hooray. So, my little, uh, uh, my little early warning system works as such. If we're getting invaded, the white soapstone will black out. Pretty sure this is common knowledge, but this is what I use. Um, particularly for areas like Irrafil, Pontus Back Porch, and the Swamp. Gives me a bit of an idea if a possible tryhard's coming in, so I can prepare as such. Because those areas I listed are all the tryhard areas for the most part. Ring City's pretty full of gankers, I know that much, but whatever. Ah, oh, damn it. Like one point of strength off. Yeah, Flamberge isn't as long as you hope sometimes, but it's pretty pretty solid, can't complain. Truly blessed. Man, I'm I'm overpowered as fuck at this point. Fucking plus two Flamberge. Hell yeah. Plunging attack. 
All right, there's a lizard who gives us our sharp gem. Yeah, so we'll clear the swamp as best we can. Hopefully, yeah, I mean, yeah, I'm a coward. Hopefully we're not going to get invaded, but it's the fucking swamp. But we've got this. So, you know. No, I got that item, didn't I? Yep, cool. Rightio. We'll have to head back at some point and meet up with our friend Grey Rat. Uh, probably at the end of this. At the end of the undead settlement. Radio. Now I ran, so they might have heard me. Yes, they did. Interesting, Ratch Hand. You coming down? Jump. Into the grave. The loincloth. Now, obviously, we have not sinned. We don't need to be fixed up in regards to our hollowing. We will at one point, though. Hey, we have the stats to use this, don't we? I know apparently this is like the meta halberd in terms of like the basic ones. That's not factoring in the, um, you know, split leaf. I think that thing still has a bloody stun lock. I don't, I don't bloody remember. All I know is the Wing Knight Halberds for true chance. And Gundis. Okay. Maybe Gundis is a little cheap still. I don't I've got no clue. I don't PvP seriously. Hey Skullyton. Well played. Well played. Ah, yep, dog. I was I was expecting as such. Sup. Alright. Come on, buddy. Up. Oh. Gotcha. You could drop some gems or some resin or something. Something to sweeten the deal. Now, because we killed Bertha up there. Actually, wait, no. She could have fallen down. We set the bonfire. If you see her walking along, that means she didn't fall off the bridge. Will he clip through the wall? No chance, apparently. Yeah, heavy gem, of course. Tight nut. Tight nut. Ah, interesting. Right, cool. So we have a guaranteed heavy, sharp, refined, and raw. Plus the one other raw I found. Fantastic. Alright, longbow. Gotcha. Yeah, hey, I know I can't use it properly. Actually. Okay, let's let's be boring here. Your rats. Uh -oh, we got a problem. I'm not two shotting him. Yep. All right. Time for a crash course in these bullshit whips. They have amazing horizontal range, as demonstrated, and they clip really easily. Now, of course, this is probably your go-to attack with whips most of the time, and a weapon art's pretty cool too. This should never be underestimated. It's very, it's very powerful, especially against living things. Better take it with you. Oh, sick! So once we can two-hand it, I can just have the whip there. In fact, why not? Cool. So that's one level in strength. We can upgrade the whip to plus two. Go from there. Okay, that's fine. A little, yeah, sure, whatever, guys. Someone there? Anyone? Oh, please. Whoever you are, touch me. The dark surrounds me, nibbles at my flesh. Little creatures, they never stop biting. So please, hold out your hand and touch me. There you are. So close, indeed. And I am not entirely alone just yet. Praise the merciful gods above. Oh, forgive me. I am Irina of Karim. I 
came to this land so that I might be a firekeeper. Your touch has freed me from the darkness. You are a champion, then. I am weak and unfit to tend the flames. But if it would not trouble you, might I enter into your service instead? Oh, thank you, sweet champion. I shall take my vows. I, Irina of Karim, solemnly swear to serve you. Oh yeah, um, took care of Viestas, by the way, in case that wasn't very apparent. But two shards and a V Undead Bone Shard. Hmm. Another one of those unkindled, are you? All you faceless undead, behaving as if you deserve respect. Now you've gone and rescued the wench. How very quaint. Pitying creatures that are beyond help. <laughs> Very well. I'm sick of looking after her at any rate. I'm Egon, a knight of Karim. I am allied to you for as long as you assure the girl's safety. And only for that long. What's the matter? My terms are very simple. I am allied to you for as long as you assure the girl's safety. And only for that long. <laughs> Egon's so fucking cool. Oh, I love his armor. And I love that hammer. Eh, not, not as enamored with the shield, of course, but eh. Does that weird thing where it won't play the sound effect, but that's probably because I'm, I'm, you know, when I used it, I was on a build with like 38 strength, not not the full 50. Even then, I was two-handing it. I don't know what's up with it. But Morn's armor, big fan of that. Excuse me, one sec. One, two, three. Yep. Yeah. What else? You. Alright, onwards. Took care of him, because he took the plunge. You will die. Alright, come on, Pooch. Brought them our ones. Cool thing about this is you walk silently while doing it. Oh, okay. Actually, you know what? Do it. Do it, you bastard. Can he do it? I've had this guy clip through this wall. It's pretty fucking funny. Ah, screw it. Like, just full on, he was inside the wall. And I think he made it over here, actually. It was super bizarre. Obviously, we can't get in there, sadly. Oh, well. Damn it. Just a hammer to point home. Alright, so the plan is... This way, hit the bonfire. Um, do all the demon stuff. Um, up there, to join the Mound Makers. And then we're off to Crucifixion Woods. Along the road of sacrifices. But who could this be? I wonder. Could it be? Yes, a jolly knight of Katarina. Hmm. 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 Oh. Pardon me, I was absorbed in thought. I am Siegbert of Katarina. To be honest, I'm in a bit of a pickle. Have you ever walked near a white birch only to be struck by a great arrow? Well, if I'm not mistaken, they come from this tower. Whoever it is, I'm sure I can talk some sense into them. But I have to find a way up. And that's just the trouble. This lift only goes down, you see, and... Uh, well, that doesn't get me anywhere. Hmm. Hmm. This lift only goes down. 
But you know, with a little warming up, eventually, no, no. I've got to use my head and think. Hmm. Hmm. I was hoping we'd get a shot of the Phantom just heading up, but alas. Alas indeed. Alright, let's go. Try luring it out. Dash. Try ranged battle, therefore, rear. Yeah, the second we approach, yep, yeah, it's that threshold. Not too dissimilar to the water reserve, actually, where the human dregs is a bit of a trap. Ah, uh, yeah, that's stuff. Right in there. Clip. Alright. So, of course, the lame way to do this is just to fling our basic fireball, but that's lame. Alright, so we're gonna kill him and then we'll head back. Do some quick upgrades and whatnot. Alright. Uh huh. I think I got enough poise to go here. Yeah. Well, didn't even come into effect, but. Hey, this is fun. This makes a mockery of Dragon Slayer armor in the Ring City. Totally ruins him, it's pretty great. Radio. Let's head on home. Let's see. Point of strength. Upgrade. Then we'll check the damage on one handing. Yeah, I think the way it wor works is the raw infusion's better one handed than normal, at least, for, the, for quite a few levels. Alright. Radio. Strength. There we go. And unfortunately no shield, but hey, what are you going to do? There we go, cool. Let's just have a look. 36. That's right, this has got pretty good bleed innately. Alright, let's have a look. Yeah, no. Raw, raw is better, but fuck that right now. Perfect, now I've sabotaged myself and can't get any higher. Now, obviously we have nothing there. Alright. Let's talk to Grey Rat. Ah, there you are. I was thinking. You know I'm a petty thief. Well, perhaps I'll go on the prowl. Everyone's dead or hollowed away anyway, right? So I might as well fetch some weapons or treasure for you. Well, what do you say? Thank you. You will not be disappointed. Grey Rat the Thief was once a well-known name. Until I ended up rotting in a cell. <laughs> Grey Rat until I... Yep, cool. <laughs> hey, guess what? Mace is fucking rad. I'll be grabbing this at some point. I'll also be joining the Lofric space program, eventually. Yeah, I've, I bought a ton of wooden arrows so I don't need to worry about these. I'll get the armor on my own time. Cart shield's handy, but we've got the uh, night one so it's okay. If anything, let's stock up. I like having heaps of these Goodbye. for dealing with the Crystal Sage. Uh, I should buy some fire bombs. Haven't died, so can't get any levels for, from yo. Oh, and I know it's kind of dumb getting firebombs when we have pyromancy, but there we go. Oh, what am I doing? Now I need six. So we have 40. Perfect. Dude. Now nothing else to get from Cornix. Let's go over to Arena, have a quick chat, and then off to Merc a Demon. For its demon soul, but it doesn't drop. Oh, Champion of Ash. Welcome back. I was not meant to be a firekeeper, but I am honored to serve you beside the bonfire. The gods are ever merciful. My gratitude lies with them and with you. I am yours now. Your wish is my command. Alright, so nothing we really need right now. 
If I was desperate enough, I could get a single level of faith, buy the basic talisman, and just use heal aid, but yeah. We'll grab this because it's nothing. You know, in my home of Karim, I was a nun. I would be pleased to share the tales of miracles with you. Although, to be honest, I only know a few. But if I had a divine tome, I could tell you many tales and more. Oh, only I cannot see. Terribly sorry, but you'll have to find me a divine tome in Braille. You know, in my eye will that oh, terribly sorry. Have a pleasant journey, Champion of Ash. I pray for your safety. I guess. Unless it's talking to her as a firekeeper or being an idiot idiot and giving her a dark term. I don't know. Yeah, in the previous part I was kind of in a hurry, so I kinda just wanted to get on with the show. What a sick joke. Now we have time to listen to this chuckle fuck. To seek the lords of Cinder and return them to their molding thrones. You're talking true legends, those who would lick the fire. We're not fit to lick their boots. <laughs> Ooh, yet to give in, eh? Good. The firekeeper must be twitching with delight. But what do you really know about these Lords of Cinder? These supposed legends? Let's take Aldrich for one. A right and proper cleric. Only he developed a habit of devouring men. He ate so many that he bloated like a drowned pig. Then softened into sludge. So they stuck him in the Cathedral of the Deep. And they made him a lord of Cinder, not for virtue, but for might. Such as a lord, I suppose. But here I ask, do we have a sodding chance? <laughs> At the foot of Lothric Castle, an old path still runs below the tower in the undead settlement. It was used to transport sacrifices to the Cathedral of the Deep. You should see where it leads. If you've the stones for it. <laughs> At the f it if <laughs> The entire time I was talking to Arena and Sieg, I was worried I was going to end up doing that somehow. Awkward, not so much. Eh, yeah, we got- what the fuck? Okay, <laughs> wasn't expecting to see the flail. That's- <laughs> that didn't quite scare me, but I was bloody confused as to what the hell was just going on. Alright, right now this is better, but we'll keep both. Deep Battle Axe, yeah, don't need. Partisan and Halberd, yeah. Cestus, fuck that. Club, we'll get rid of because we'll grab a mace eventually. That's useless to us. That's useless, that's useless. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. And sort by weight. I got these pants to sell at some point. Alright, yeah, and plenty of those. Get rid of you. And keep the rest. Right. Onwards. Time to murk a demon and become a mound maker. Yeah, so my logic is, like I explained last time, I'm not gonna kill uh Curse Rod of Great Wood for the simple fact of when we get to Irithil. You know, I can just talk to Grey Rat, get that shit done with, and then immediately get to the Profane Capital. I think how it actually works, but I've never bothered testing because I can't be bothered testing the save state, the um, cloud saves that much. I think what happens is. Well, I know this part for a fact. If you don't talk to Sigwood in the kitchen, he just stays there. I've made it all the way to his cell and he hasn't been there because I never talked to him in the kitchen. I'm thinking as long as he's there, Grey Rat can be saved. You know, assuming you're not going the patches method, but I've done that once and it failed hard. 
And that's before I cloud saved, so that was five hours down the drain. Hmm. No need. Hmm. Hmm. It seems we have a friend. And the birds from Huntsman's Cops. Those two. Sprite birds. Alright. Watching the sprite birds, are we? What a lovely view. I help any time. I help any time. Yeah, so if we didn't have the branch, you know. We'd get one off him. Hey, I know that bow. Too bad we can't use it. That'd be cool. Yeah, that's not the best down there. Radio, so... Ooh, okay, yeah, this looks even rougher than I remembered, but hey. Souls games, they don't always get enough time. So that's, yeah, Dragon Slayer Bridge is invisible. That's the, uh, that's the one to Lothric and Lorien. Um, that's the front of the, ch the church where we get the St. Bident. That's the little chapel. That's the graveyard. Okay, yeah, that right there is where the ladder is. That's the bridge. Um, many invader has trolled on. And that's the door that triggers patches. Cool. I'm not too upset by it, but I've always wondered why our friend doesn't just fucking snipe this demon for us mid-fight. We can't see C because he's under the ledge. Kind of lame. Yeah, well, we've seen all we can see. Actually, where's he? Where are we? We mosey on over this way. Yeah, there we go. That's the halfway fortress. Yeah. Hmm, that's some, like, train simulated texture work, but I can't blame him. Yeah, and down there. Keep. And where's the mausoleum? It's, like, around the back or something. Ah, oh, well. Spend too long gazing. Ah, oh, wonder what that could be. Ah, oh, that looks like that looks like a lift I know. Huh, hmm. Man, it'd be crazy if Anna Londo was in this game for no reason. Okay, look, it's no re it's not no reason, but it is very kind of transparently fan service. The original concept for it seemed way cooler, but yeah, what are you gonna do? Hmm. Hmm. Ah. Oh. Don't disappear like that. You had me downright worried. But thanks to you, an epiphany has struck me square in the head. I've unraveled the riddle of this inscrutable lift. <laughs> On some days, I begin to doubt myself. I went up the tower, so I thought then somehow ended up here. I'm not exactly sure what happened. Anyhow, do you see that? That humongous beast? I'm no coward and I have a steady hand, but that thing makes my skin crawl. How now? Think twice before you go down that road. I could try talking some sense into him, no, I think not. He's far too overheated. I've got to use my head and think. Hmm. No! I seek word. Hey, here's a nice demonstration of him just fucking clipping. This gun, Demon Ruins, fucking sucks. He's a real dick there. Okay, I should have dodged that. That was my bad. Get him, Seek. Down, ball. Hey, no, you don't. Damn, I wish I hadn't missed that. Ow, don't you fucking kill him. Oh, good, you got him, see. Ooh, I was worried there for a second. Forty to actually get you. That was quite a performance. 
but you mustn't get in over your head. We unkindled must put our duties first. But, for the moment, we've a toast to make. To your valor, my sword, and our victory together. Long may the sun shine! <laughs> Well, I'm going to have myself a little nap. The only thing to do, really, after a nice toast. <laughs> Yeah, so Siegmeier was already pretty obviously the proxy for Bior. Siegwood is, or Siegvud, is un, unabjain- un, Let's try this again. Siegwood is 100% Bior. Just, you know, fine tune for a modern age. Large club, the thing that is outclassed horrendously. Leonhard will now offer for us to uh, go kill a Dark Wraith. The Northerner set. Kinda sucks these are the same weight. Cause if you go in this heavy armor, like I know this is a little eh, well, barely more even. It's kinda shittier. It just sucks it's not lighter, because you know, lesser poise. Damn shame. Yeah, that guy's always kinda confused me. We're gonna heal up a little more just in case. Radio. Now, I'm pretty sure we can't hit him, but... Oh! Okay, lo and behold, we can. Slash damage, am I right? We can probably bleed him out pretty easily, though. Alright, come on. Let's go for some one-handed... Yep. Three quick hits, and they're bled really easily. Very cool. Oh, damn. I was hoping that, you know, worked. Free aim. Very useful for the weapons I'm using. Damn it. Almost got him. Alright, come on, Poocher. Gotcha. What? Where about but where for buff? What are you talking? Oh no, how terrible! All right, come on, you guys. Oh, there's the poop. Come on, back you feet. Ow, Smega. Really. Uh, you want to be different, huh? Gotcha. Fading souls, fading souls. Heal up. Human pine resin. Hey, old man Johnson. Looking good. Whoops. Yeah, I don't know about the whole turning into trees thing. Um, seems kind of rough to be... Uh-oh. Honest. Two is all it takes to break their poise. And obviously, we bled her out. Hey, gloves, cool. I'd rather your actual armor set, though. Gotcha. I'm getting way too cocky. It's gonna. Gonna blow off my face really bad eventually. Definitely. Flint ring. For when we want to go a little lighter. I mean, that was the plan, actually. I was gonna get, like, a bandit's knife. Or, like, a short sword and go incredibly light to start off. But, um, 
Flambush. So, you know. Yeah, that doesn't look great at all, does it? Bit of a shame. Alright, someone fell, huh? That's a shame. It'd suck if you got here and didn't have enough Estus. Yeah, breaking a box. Praise the rolling. Right. And we're back here for the Great Wood. Not that we're doing it. Not today, at least. Yo, pooch. Back fiend. Yeah, dogs have some kind of hyper armor sometimes. It's kind of odd, to be completely honest. Yo, Bertha. Joke's on you. You were my target all along. Oh, you went for a swing, did you? Uh-huh. Oh. I was planning for it to not die, to be honest. Really? Gotcha. Radio. Time to head back, grab some levels. And onwards. That's everything. Oh, wait, no. Mount Makers, of course. Ow! Shit, Lord. Alrighty. Fuck you too, buddy. 